Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn and today we're going to be talking about writing. And not just any writing, a lot of writing. Some of you may not know this, but the month of April is dedicated to Camp NaNoWriMo. And if you followed my videos, you know that NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writing Month. And that month is normally November. But if we only celebrate NaNoWriMo once a year, that would be boring. Who wants to write an entire novel just once a year? You gotta do it more. So, April is Camp NaNoWriMo. It's sort of the same concept, and it's in April instead. And there's a whole other website for it. So I'll link that down below if anyone's interested, although it's already started, so I kind of made this video late. Anyways, if you've already taken part in Camp NaNoWriMo, you know that every day you have to get a lot of words down because you are writing an entire novel in a month. So in this case, the quality of your work isn't as important as the quantity of your work because you want to win Camp NaNoWriMo. But even in everyday writing, it's extremely important just to get words down on paper. Now, I don't mean that you need to write every single day. A lot of people seem to think you do, and even I personally used to think that I needed to, but it's just not possible. I am a junior in high school, and I have a job that I work almost every day of the week. Going home and writing is not my first concern. My first concern is food, shower, and then managing my website, replying to comments on videos, and doing all that sort of fun stuff that comes with being a self-published author because I have to create my own following. But when you do write, the important thing is not to get the word writer's block stuck in your mind because once you think you have writer's block, you're just digging yourself into a really deep hole. So what you need to do is that you need to sit down and just get words down on paper. Just let everything from your head flow through your fingers onto that keyboard and onto the screen. Don't let yourself care about what you're writing. Don't let yourself care about whether or not it's going to be good or not. And don't even think about what other people are going to think when they read it. Because that's not important. The first step in writing is getting something down on paper. The second step is rewriting. And then the third step is editing. And of course, you can rewrite things multiple times and you can edit things multiple times. But you only write something, I guess you could say, organically the first time. That is what your first draft is and that's what NaNoWriMo is all about. It's about your first draft. NaNoWriMo doesn't care how amazing your book is or if it's the great American novel or anything like that. It doesn't matter if your book's going to be a bestseller or if it's going to be a flop. You just need those words on a piece of paper. Then after NaNoWriMo is over, or after you've finished any draft that you've written, you go back and you rewrite. You see what your flaws are. You fix scenes. You add things. You take away things. You find out what's important, and then you adjust it from there. Then, and only then, you can start to worry about, you know, other things. So I'm curious though, are any of you participating in Camp NaNoWriMo? I know my schedule is too busy, and I'm publishing a book right now, so I obviously can't write a book. But what are you guys up to? Are you writing anything? Or are you editing, rewriting? Comment below and tell me. And of course, don't forget to share this video and give it a thumbs up. Time supposedly heals for some reason thinking that will help. How can we know that when it